mistakes with the tackle. Number seven, Jack Hadley involved just shy of the first half marker. So it's third and short for Newport. And uh-oh, that looks like motion. In fact, it is. Newport is going backwards five yards. So it's going to be third and seven. And that will do it. That's how the third quarter ends with the Mustangs leading 17-7 after three. Fans, we'll be right back for the fourth and final quarter. lead this contest 17-7 over Newport Harbor. Newport and shotgun here on third down and long, and it is incomplete. Good coverage out there by the Mustangs. Number 41, Tanner Bernard. Tanner's made a couple of nice plays out there. So it is fourth down and punting, which means Loss and Gale set to return. Go. Oh, has a chance to get a big return on this one. Oh, a couple nifty moves. Oh, boy, good open field tackle prevents possibly a touchdown. But either way, it is another brilliant return by Lawson Gale, who is taking over this second half. Mustangs, uh oh, on the pitch. That one goes behind. Frank Love, who does a good job of just uh, getting back to the ball and picking it up. But that will create a second down and a very long situation here for the Mustangs. They lost a lot of yardage on that play. It was uh, an option right, but a little pitch went awry there, so it's a four receiver set down for the Mustangs. The ball is up and oh! Nice attempt there by Briskin. Uh, Try to hit Lawson Gale. Trying to lob one up there, let him go after and get it. But Newport Harbor makes a good play on it. Third down now situation for the Mustangs. Third and long. Briskin. That one is caught out of the backfield. Nice job out there. Knocked out of bounds. That was number six, Mitchell Noss. Mitchell with his second nice catch of the game. That one will still be short. So that will bring the kicker, Casey Sublett, out for another field goal attempt. Of course, Sublett made a 24-yarder earlier this contest. It was the uh, first points of the game for the Mustangs, in fact. This time, it is a... 47 yard attempt. It's up, it's high, it's straight, but just short. So, no good. That will keep this score at a 17 7 advantage to the Mustangs with just over 10 minutes left to go in this contest. So, this is a huge defensive series now for the Mustangs as, uh oh, they start off Newport Harbor with a big play. First play of this drive for the Sailors, and it goes for a long touchdown. Nothing uh, super fancy, just a quick out pattern uh, by the Sailors receiver, but boy, that's the problem when you uh, stretch a defense out with an offensive uh, series like that. One missed tackle, and next thing you know, it's a big play for the offense that will make the score of this contest now 17 to 14 with just over 10 minutes left to go if anything that's the uh probably the uh, more frustrating part for the mustangs coaching staff is how little time went off the clock there if you're going to give up a touchdown report obviously you want to 
try to have that as long of a drive as possible, really try to eat up as much clock as possible, but Newport with the quick score puts the uh, Mustangs offense in a situation where they really want to try to uh, stretch this game out now for sure. The good news though is the Mustangs will take over first and 10, still leading 17 to 14. So Mustangs first and 10 at the 20 yard line. That's a handoff to the first back through. There's an option left. That first back was, of course, number 25, Lawson Gale. Rafael has had another brilliant game for the Mustangs. One touchdown. Quite a few yards, a couple big plays. And speaking of big runs, that's another huge run this time. But Mustang's other uh, tailback here, Sebastian Franklin. Little by little, each week, Frank Love gets more and more opportunities to show he also has some very talented running back skills for the Mustangs. Face mask will attack on some yardage, and uh oh! Looked like uh, that ball may have briefly dropped. And it did, but the Mustangs able to recover, so it's going to bring up a second down. They did lose yardage on the play but did keep possession, which is the key second down here now. Mustangs. Austin Gale with a nice uh, carry there. Gets them back to a third down and doable seven yard situation. High formation, Morrow in motion. It's play action. It's in the air and oh! just out of the reach of uh, Chester there. I'm sorry, that was actually uh, that may have been Nas. Hard to tell, but either way, it's incomplete, so fourth down and punting. Worst part is that incomplete pass does stop the clock. So Mustang's not able to take off anywhere near as much time off the clock as they would have liked. But a good punt does keep Newport Harbor deep in their, uh, into their own territory here. They'll take over first and 10, but at the 17 yard line. I formation for Newport, it's a run right up the middle. Plenty of time on this clock. So Newport does go to the ground first, but the Mustangs do a good job 